Hi, it's Jill Ferris, and we're doing our Thanksgiving series. Today's dish is butternut squash soup. Here's our butternut squash. Um, we're going to use one today. If you're having a big crowd, you'll want to use two. I would say this is going to serve about six, really six to eight people. We're going to add some stock to it, and you only want to serve a little bit if you're serving a whole meal. Um, the, the thing about this is that this is a fresh one, obviously, and if you like to cook fresh like I do, you can get them in the farmer's market or even in the supermarket. If you want, it does come already cut up, but remember, it's been sitting there, it might have preservatives on. It may not give you the fullest flavor. The only thing is, is that we have to cut off the skin, and that's a little bit hard to do. So if you've got a He-Man around, give him a task. Oh, honey, can you cut the skin for me? So we're going to cut this up, and then I'll show you how to make it. Hey, dudes, look what I discovered after all that knife, Michigas, is this great peeler. This guy sells it on the street. Uh, of New York dressed in a suit and it actually is the best peeler I ever had and it's working quite nicely it's just that you've got to take it down a few layers so that you get all the skin off and then we're going to cut it up and start making our soup wow look at that if you could get this peeler I'm telling you I have now butternut squash fear free so this is just a little bit of seeds we're going to remove the seeds and cube it up what I have here in the pot is put a little olive oil to cover the bottom I have three cloves, of fairly small cloves of garlic, and half of a large Spanish onion. If you're going to do, if you're going to use two butternut squash, then you're going to have a whole onion. Just want to saute it a little bit until it, it starts to become transparent and wilt. You don't want to cook it too long because it will cook down in the soup. Just want to brown it a little, make it nice and fun. It already smells delicious. Oh, it smells delicious. It's about two minutes, and our onions are becoming, just beginning to cut, become transparent. The aroma of just the garlic and onions and oil is fabulous. Here's our butternut squash, and we cut it up in cubes. We're just going to dump it in. That looks like it's made a lot. Now, what we're going to do to this is we're going to add chicken stock. If you have vegetarians at your table, you'll use vegetable stock. Um, now, get any one that you prefer. I like to get, this one is made in Fairway, and I like to get um, ones that are made by a shop or gourmet shop if I don't make it myself. This is the time when you want to add stock. If you go see the soups and stews video, we have so many ingredients in that that we don't really need to add stock because flavor's coming from all over the place. But we want a little savory in this and we're going to do the same thing. You just add the stock to cover. Please taste your stock before you start cooking because some stocks, like some of the natural ones and organic ones actually are very low in sodium. Look, we used, this is a uh, quart, right? So we used a whole quart. This is great measuring. One butternut squash, one quart of chicken stock, half an onion. We are not, we'll season it a little later because let's see what our stock does. So you have the sweet butternut squash, the savory flavor of the chicken stock or vegetable stock if you so choose. We're going to cover this and boil it down until it's very soft to the fork and then we'll process it. Okay, I've seasoned this with salt, pepper, a little cayenne pepper, and a touch of nutmeg also. So we have a nice broad range of flavors. But remember, all this is onion, gar onions, garlic, the butternut squash, and the stock. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Touch of salt. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually put it in our blender and process it down. I like to use a slotted spoon and put in the more solid parts of the soup first. Because if you just start pouring it in, first of all, that's kind of messy. But also you don't want to fill it up too much. You want a little bit of liquid in here. Now I like to use a food processor. However, you can't put really a lot of liquid in there because it leaks out. It's really more for solids. So this is my Cuisinart blender which Cuisinart so generously gave to me for this show. Whoops. And um, 
see how we're doing. So you might have to do it in shifts. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid in. And I'm going to blend it in two shifts. And then to make sure it blends really nicely, I'll put it in another pot while I'm waiting for this to go. So let's turn it on. This is really important. So we're blending actually the two pots and see how creamy it is. You don't even need any cream in this. It's perfect consistency. However, because now that the butternut squash is pureed, we want to taste it again to see how the consistency and the flavor is. Let's see. Ooh. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's perfectly soupy consistency. Nice and creamy without any cream. I'm just going to add a touch more of salt. It's got some nice flavoring from the pepper and the nutmeg and a little bit of heat from the cayenne. That's just perfect. Then I'm going to show you that really the most beautiful thing about this is the way we're going to serve okay. the soup. The soup is ready. We're going to ladle it into our bowl. And this is a very rich soup. And if you're serving a large meal, you really don't have to serve that much. <clears throat> but if you want to serve it some other time, you can make yourself a great big bowl. I made this soup in my last season. And if you see the bloopers reel, when I go to put the cream into my uh, drink, which was the cocktails, and it's on the bloopers, the cream had a funny coagulation, even though it was good. You just drizzle a little bit and let it flow to the top. And it's just a little flavor of the cream. You really don't need a lot of cream. Now, I cut up a scallion for garnish but I removed the white parts. You can use that for your salad a little later. You want to get mostly the green, little green, because you don't want it to be too sharp. and too, That's the first thing that you taste and the only thing that you taste. So just drizzle some nice green scallions and float some tomato slices. Here's our beautiful butternut squash soup. Now for the taste. Mmm, delicious. If you want to make this ahead of time, don't leave it in the refrigerator for more than two days. You'll want to freeze it and defrost it before you start heating it up. Otherwise, it will burn in the pot. You can make this anytime and you can freeze it for any time of year when butternut squash is available. So that was the third in our series. If you missed anything, the turkey and stuffing, or the sweet potato pie, you can go on our site on the video index and access that or any one of our videos 24-7 streaming video time.